All right, guys, so today we have a hundred thousandths thick piece of aluminum, 7075, and we're going to be testing two different methods for cutting large holes, like two inch, inch and three quarter, or even bigger. And what I've got here is a set of carbide tipped hole saws, and they go from nine sixteenths to, I believe, two and an eighth. Yeah, two and an eighth. Uh, I think this was about $75 if I remember right and then we've got a uh, step drill let me get this step drill out of the case here take a look at it this is a huge step drill and this goes to quarter to two and a half so we're just going to test both these methods we're going to see what does a good job uh, what does the better job I think this was about the same price. I think it was about 70 bucks or so for that step drill. You know, step drills are, are meant for sheet, more sheet metal type work. Uh, this hundred thousandths might be pushing the limit as to how thick uh, a step drill is actually meant to, uh, to drill. So I'm, I've got a piece of aluminum set up here in the vise, got it on the mill. Uh, I guess first we'll do the step drill. We'll go down through, we'll see, you know, how it cuts up to however big we go. We might go all the way to two and a half just to just to see if it'll do it. And we'll see what kind of finish it leaves. And then we'll do the hole saw. Now I bought this hole saw kit whenever I did my little mod to my uh, lathe and I needed to cut those holes for those knobs to stick through. Same with these down here. And the, the hole saw worked out great. I also ordered this at the same time. The whole saws came in first and it worked great. Uh, I have not had a chance to use this yet, so I'm kind of curious to see how it works. So let me get set up here and we're going to get this thing started. All right, guys, so I went ahead and popped a couple uh, starter holes in here. Put just a little bit of oil on that to help out. Here we go with the step drill. Putting quite a bit of force on that. We went up to the counter sink. With very little effort, but it's not wanting to go much, much more than that. Huh. Yeah, I'm not very impressed with that. Now it could be that just a hundred thousandths is really. Uh, a little too thick for this so let's do this we're going to uh, put a hole saw in and we're going to see how it does I have not cut aluminum with these hole saws I did cut that stainless steel and it cut through it like butter um, I don't know let's go with let's go with a smaller one to start with we'll do a uh, this is a one inch. Now, I don't know if you're really supposed to be using these freehand. Uh, you know, I've got mine chucked up in a mill. I would think a drill press. Um, the mill or a drill press is what you'd want to use these in. The, the only reason is because these carbide tips, I don't know if you used to get those, uh, you know, hitting uh, uneven if it would damage them or not you know carbide's kind of brittle it's very very hard so it cuts through stuff real good but you've got to you, you can't uh, you can't stress it in the wrong way otherwise it, it chips carbide so I would recommend only using these in a mill or a drill press 
probably don't really need oil for this, but Now that's what I expected out of this uh, hole saw. And I don't know if you see the finish of that, but that finish is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, I would say that next to annular cutters, these are probably the next best thing. Now, that drill bit was the same size as the starter hole that I had. So what I want to do now, since I got all this clamped up, I want to see if I can actually put a bigger hole saw in. And without a center drill if it will steal without any problem uh, cut uh, hopefully you know what I mean you know since I've got the aluminum clamped in tight we're on a mill which is pretty rigid I don't think we're gonna really need to worry about a center hole uh, you know for this thing to be able to to uh, cut the next not well not the next size this is an inch and three quarter that I've got in here now so we're going to see how that does. Awesome. Okay. Come back just a little bit for you. We're going to go up to the biggest one we got, which is a uh, 208. A little bit of chatter there. Let me slow it down just a little bit more. Hopefully you can see that finish. I mean that finish is just absolutely great. You know, just a slight deburr on both sides and uh, that's all you'd need. I've been very impressed so far with these uh, carbide tip hole saws. Uh, so now what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and step this hole up to maybe like three quarter or one inch and then we're going to try that step drill again and see if maybe on a bigger size if we'll have better luck let me dig this uh, there we go yeah I'm, I'm really impressed with these carbide tip hole saw especially for the price like $75 and Got a hose set where you can cut nice clean holes in a uh, in sheet metal. I forgot what I was doing. So we're going to go with a uh, three quarter. No particular reason why three quarter. And obviously these teeth still feel just as sharp. All right, so that's three quarters. So now let's try this. Uh, let's try this step drill again. I was really hoping that it was going to do a decent job, but so far I'm not very impressed with it. Okay. 
that took it up to the next uh, bigger hole. Let's go again. All right, not a problem. I guess maybe the first couple. Yeah, and the finish on that is, is looking great. Go a little closer. Not a problem. Okay, I bought them bad on my vice. So that's the biggest hole we're going to be able to get on this particular vice. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, both the both the finishes look look beautiful. Now this I wasn't able to get all the way through because the uh, where are we at the tip here was actually hitting down there in the on the bias. I didn't realize it. So. There you have it. Um, so both these will work. Now the first, you know, whenever I first started this and I tried to just get through that first size, wasn't having a whole lot of luck. But once I opened the hole up, then it cut through it like butter. So yeah, if you want to cut holes in uh, in sheet metal. And you need a way to do it. This whole saw kit has been absolutely phenomenal. This, once I opened the hole up, I think as long as you open it up to a half inch or a nine sixteenths to start with, then uh, you'll be able to sit there and cut whatever size hole you need. Um, of course, if you was cutting through something, you know, even softer than aluminum, like plastic or something like that, you wouldn't have a problem at all with that. But um, yeah, I had to open the hole up first before this would re really start doing its job. The hole saws cut like butter, which I expected that. These carbide teeth are just razor sharp, and they slice they slice through that stainless steel like it wasn't nothing also. So, anyway, just a little test. Both these for cutting larger holes uh, in sheet metal. You guys take care.